Welcome back to Genuine Coder, guys. This is the 13th video in the JavaFX Library Management System Development Series. And in this video, we will implement the issue operation in our library software. I mean, when we press on the issue button, we want to issue a book to the member. So uh, before doing that, we have to add a database table into a database. I mean, we have to add a table into the database. Currently, we have two tables in the database. One is book and one is member. And we have to create another method for creating the table. And the operation is very much similar to the previous table creation, except in the stmt.execute body, I mean, in the argument. So for that, I'm going to copy and paste my existing code for the issue table so let me explain the code and the first section is very much similar i mean it is same as previous first we get the database metadata and since the uh, setup issue table is called for every execution we check whether the table already exists it is it has to be created only once and the table contains three to, um, I'm sorry four fields first one is the book that is being issued is represented using the book ID and the member whom is taking this book is uh, represented by the member ID and the issue time is the time at which the issue operation is taking we don't have to give the issue time instead we are taking the current time from the database using the current timestamp. For that, we we specify a default value for the database using the default keyword. And default current timestamp means whenever we give the book ID and member ID, it will store the current time information. Uh, time and date. The current timestamp means it contains both the date and the time. And renew count means number of times the user has. Uh, I mean, the member has renewed the book uh, at issue operation during any issue operation. It is set to zero. Then after every renew operation, it is incremented. And this line means it is the foreign key. It represent this book ID that we are going to add is belongs to another book table, another table. I mean, this is used for implementing the constraints in the database it is called foreign key i hope you already know this concept well it it tells that the, we can't add a, any book id into this book id information it has to be present in this book table before adding into this issue table if you have some doubt just google for foreign key in that mysql then you will find the use of the foreign key so that's it so the foreign key book id references book id means the book id is actually pointing to the book that is present in the book table and the member id represents to the member that is present in the member table in the id field so that's it uh, we have to call the setup issue table during from the database constructor so setup issue table so that's fine i'm coming back to the main and not uh, the main controller coming back to the main controller and when i press on the issue button i have to load a function so i'm going to call load issue operation operation so that's it now i'm going to the library assistant then main.fxml make controller now we got the load issue operation function now in order to implement the issue operation as we have seen we need member id and book id so i'm going to take that member id input the member id is present in the member member id input field so get text then string member uh, sorry book id uh, that will be book id input dot get text so that's fine and when the user press on the issue button we just don't want to go for issue operation directly first we want to make a confirmation to the user that the issue operation is going to be performed for that we have to make use of an alert box so alert alert equals new alert and it will be a type of confirmation so i'm going to alert type confirmation and first we have to set a title so set title confirm issue operation then i'm going to 
say the header I uh, currently I don't want to give any header so I'm going, going to set that a null then here I want to give a body so or content text so set content text and I am going to give uh, one more message so are you sure want to issue the book then I am going to give the book name so the book name can be taken from the text field so that will be book name dot get text uh, so are you sure want to issue the book maybe Harry Potter uh, then I'm going to give a slash in for new line 2 then I'm going to give the member name and that can be taken from the member text which is uh, so this is a book name so this is the member name and I'm going to take the member name member name dot get text then after that I'm going to give a question mark so uh, that's about the alert or content text now the confirmation type alert contains two button and we have to get whether the user press the ok or cancel button so in that case I am going to make use of the optional and here button type I have already made a tutorial on using the uh, um, using the alert messages so optional button type um, response equals then we can go for alert the usual one show and wait so when the user press on any button we will get result in the response field so i'm going to import that and i'm checking whether the response was uh, okay so in that case if response equals button type dot okay then we have to go for the issue operation so If response if response dot get equals button type OK then we have to proceed for the issue operation so first we have to add the uh, issue information or issue row into this table so for that we have to create a query uh, not query an action so uh, string str equals then insert into and our database is issue then we are going to uh, give the data that we are going to give so it will be member ID. we are going to give member ID first we are going to give member ID then we are going to give book ID and all the uh, remaining fields contains default values which will be the current name and the issue count then values after values we will have one open parenthesis then that's end of the string and plus that we will have we are going for a single quotes and in between that single quotes you can use the prepared statement if you want in order to simplify the operation but I like to use it in this way so that's why I'm using and um, uh, we have to give the member ID first so member ID then I'm going to repeat the same for book ID after book ID I just don't want this uh, and I'm going to give this so that's fine we constructed the uh, str string str then we have to uh, give one more operation and that is updating the book table to set the availability to false so when we issue a book we will set this is avail field to false so string str2 equals we are going for the update SQL operation so update book set is avail equals false where id equals now we have to give the book id so i'm going to give the book id right here single quotes and that's it so we have two database operations to be executed and if both of these are executed then we can say that the issue operation was success or else we have to notify the user about the failure so if uh, we have to get the handler and the handler name is database handler so database handler dot execute action and we are first executing the str action then and and database handler dot execute action then we are going for the second action so str2 and if both of them was success then we have to notify the user 
so I'm going to paste it right here alert alert is equal to it's not confirmation it is about it is about information and there is already an alert alert object so I'm going for alert one then alert one alert one alert one then instead of confirm command I am going to use uh, the word success success then then I will display book issue complete then if any of those operation was a failure then we have to notify the user about that so I'm going for alert again then instead of information I'm going for the error and here failed and we will show can't uh, issue operation failed the reason behind the issue operation will be displayed from the database handler itself so that will be the first error message and this will be the second error message and we forgot one thing we have to go for alert one dot show and wait here also we have to go for that so that's fine and there is one more else case if the user presses the cancel button then we have to notify him that the issue operation was not at all started and instead of failed that will be cancelled and instead of error that will be an information and issue operation cancelled so now let's go for running the code and in order to check whether the uh, query is correctly generated I'm going to print that and str2 so I can see that in there uh, in the system out, out stream let's run the program so we got this and here I'm going to enter the book ID b100 so it's Harry Potter and I'm going to issue it to genuine coder 100 issue then are you sure I want to issue the book Harry Potter to genuine coder of course yes okay so uh, there is an error the urinary plus operation is not allowed in the card type so let's see let's have a look into the command and you can see that there is a plus here which is not required I think that was a typo I'm sorry for that and let's see look ha let's have a look whether there was an issue so that's fine now let's uh, repeat the code again I'm going to run the program again and again b100 then member contact that will be 100 then issue so are you sure yeah so that's it that's it guys we have successfully issued a book to the user now if we again go for entering the Hardy Potter then you can see that it is not available so that's the end of this video we have implemented a big thing in our library management software and in the upcoming videos we will be defining the book return function and book renew function so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos